Welcome back to the Crooked River and Eastern Railroad and another Crooked River production. Guys, just a quick update. Uh, it's been a while since I did an actual layout update. Uh, I do my live streams usually on Thursday mornings. CRN Morning Brew. That being said, let me turn the camera and show you what I've been up to. Stand by. Okay, nothing new here really. I think you guys already saw the fascia up. Um, metal cup holders. I got a few of these up. These are nice. I, got, I don't know, six or eight of those that go around the layout. I did that little ambulance. Uh, let's see. So, a lot of guys know I was having issues with my trains running. And I think it's because I was out of 91% alcohol. I was using some 70%. Guys were saying don't use alcohol at all because it causes parking. So I'm like, okay, so a couple guys recommended mineral spirits. There's a lot of debate in different ways, and this is not a lot of debate. I had this laying around. I do want to still try to get CRC stuff. I just haven't, uh, haven't purchased it yet, but I used that in my cleaning car, and trains have been running great. So I'm um, hoping that was the issue. So far, so good. Uh, I got my, you guys saw my display cabinets. I'm uh, getting those. Filled up. Still trying to drag boxes and stuff out. That one has some room in it. The uh, <clears throat> TV is mounted. So there's just some wasted space in between there. So I figured why not? This area is going to be a staging yard anyway, so there's not going to be a lot of scenery or anything in this area. Um, it's just going to be strictly staging, and that'll be it. Nothing new down here. The biggest thing I've been working on is I got the plywood in on this area. Um, it's not screwed down yet, but I got that all in, cutting in anyways. So a matter of just, you know, screwing that all down. I think I'm going to have to put some threaded rod here. This is still very, very wobbly, even with the uh, new brackets and everything. There's really just no way to really support this properly. Because of the channel back there for the climb. So I had to have some special made brackets. They definitely helped, but they're not 100%. So I'm going to have to do something with it. And then I just finished this tonight, actually. All the plywood's down on the end of the peninsula. It was about to there on both sides that I finished up coming around. This edge got a little janky here, but I'll fix that when I do the fascia board. Fix that little oops right there. Um, but yeah, all the way down from there. So peninsula is all done as far as uh, plywood being on it. And that's good. Cause I'm, I was really dragging my feet on that. I'm glad to have that finally done. The only other area I have to finish is over here where all this junk's at. So I'm still figuring this out. Um, possibly going to build like a fake wall. Come back and make this only about 18 to 24 inches, 22 inches. Come across and uh, into the corner there. And then use that to support the upper level. Um, it's too far to reach back in there. I thought about doing some kind of bookcase or something here. Getting rid of these. Having a bookcase looking up the stairs as you're going out, putting knickknacks and stuff that I had in the old in the old layout room, um, where I have nowhere to put that stuff now. But with that being said, I won't be able to reach back in there. So if I leave this open here, for the most part, put like a uh, like a knee wall, whatever you want to call it, just kind of like I did there, you know, I have a wall sitting on top of the table to support that. I did get that tight into the ceiling there. It's not the prettiest, but it is secured now. I think that's going to be the best solution because then I can still come off of here, run that around, you know, have the wall, whatever, end up being back there. Um, you know, about like where the corner is there, just have it come across. I can still do like my L brackets off of those hold up this level and then I won't have to do any kind of a support post or anything there or there but what I'll do 
is on the back side of that wall. It'll give me enough support to support the bridge to go across. So I have to bring a, you know, a uh, duck under, or I'm gonna do just a lift out, I think. And I'll leave it latched in 90% of the time unless I have to get something in here. But I think that's gonna be the plan for that. Uh, nothing new with the candy company. Did a little striping and stuff here on the road. I don't know if you saw that before. Did a little bit of scenery on the lift bridge on the, you know, just there. Um, that's about it. Picked up a couple trailers. Um, but yeah, you know, that's about it. I've been out and about. Went to the Berea, Great Berea train show on the 2nd up with Anthony Dodge and his wife for breakfast as well as Rex Railroad and his wife uh, as well and then, uh, Rick and his wife and I we went to a show together and we had dinner together after that and just a great day uh, but that's it guys um, making some progress finally getting this bench work back to bench work trying to get this figured out and uh, finished up for winter at least mostly. Um, trying to get some of this mess out of my garage. I have enough plywood to do this left. I got a four by eight sheet and then a two by eight sheet. So it should be plenty to do this. Cause if I did the second level all the way to the wall even, being I could stand over here, I'll be able to reach the corner, you know. I may even do a half wall there, a fake wall there too. Um, and then I can just have storage on the back, on the back side of that wall or junk or whatever, or I'm trying to think of where's a way maybe I can put some just tracks running back in there just for store more storage tracks. I don't know. More to come on that. Still brainstorming that one. All right, guys. So that's it for now. Um, appreciate y'all watching. Tune in Thursday mornings, 9 a.m. for CRNE Morning Brew. Tuesdays are on track Tuesdays. Wednesdays, Cab Crew Wednesday at 8 o'clock. So, okay, guys, with that being said, thanks for watching. Bye for now.